Hello, my friends. I'm at the Garden Tomb. Sorry for my hair and my condition. It's early in the morning here in Jerusalem. But the, uh, the interesting thing about the the different two places where they believe the resurrection took place is there was no interest in the site for like a couple hundred years. <laughs> and the reason is because the body wasn't there. <laughs> and if the body's not there, then what are you what are you obsessing over where where it was? He's been Jesus it was all over Galilee and Jerusalem. They have thousands of locations with stories. But uh, but where we were today at uh, Gordon's tomb is the where the place of the skull is and where a garden was nearby and a grave that was never yet dug for a rich man. And it's the place where uh, after you've been looking at the three days and nights of Jesus, isolation, the betrayal, the, the suffering, which was extraordinary, and the variety of ways he was tortured, then you realize that he willingly said, this blood is shed for you, drink of it. That as terrible a sacrifice as it was, the, the blood was there for us to drink. My wife Hi, it's reminding us about something coming up. Anyway, Annabelle wants to invite everybody because we're going to be getting away for three days. Yeah, it's going to be good. we're going to celebrate the, the resurrection life and the dream that is the dream that God has for your yep. life. The, the finishing well is a great theme for many of us who are over 50. Finishing well is a theme and understanding the dream that God gave you. And it's going to be, you can go to lancemallot.com forward slash dream trip. Right, honey? Because we're going to have a couple, you know, it will be a smaller gathering, but I want you to be there. Come on. Yeah, it'll be uh, lancemallot.com forward slash dream trip. I think it's going to be when? It's going to be in May? I think. Or from May or is it June? <laughs> it's in June. 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 <gasps> You don't know when it is? Anyway, it's a I know reunion. I, wanted to, I know I wanted to have Family a dream trip reunion. reunion. We haven't done one. And we have like, this is our big reunion trip, by the way. Just for that? Hi. I'm going to look on my calendar. Since you don't know, say it is, I think it is June. It is June, but I don't want like to see the wrong. Like 18th and 20th or 19th, 20th. Or like, just check it out. I want you guys to be there. I'm going to focus on the finishing the legacy, finishing well, having the relationship with uh, legacy that you need to have so that you're doing the thing God called you to do. June 20, 21, 22. Okay, honey, I'm talking about the resurrection. I'm going back to well, my... It's very good, but if we servant. don't start talking about that dream trip, you and me will be the only ones there. With <laughs> the first 40 keep, people who signed up. I keep forgetting <laughs> to tell people that. I know I'm terrible. I forget where I forget these days. Mercedes, I reminded him. All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> back to what I'm talking about. Jesus, they could never find the body. Do you guys understand how significant this is? This is why, this is, this is the greatest evidence of the resurrection is the disciples were cowards. They hid for fear of the Jews. They were the last people to try to overpower a Roman, gar Roman guard. These courageous guys, they were all hiding. The first witnesses to the resurrection were three women. There were three, it's amazing to me also that Jesus had three courageous women looking for his body to, to help complete the burial because they knew it was a rush job because of the Sabbath. Uh, the other thing that's interesting is, kind of bouncing around, but I'm, I'm discovering so many things while I'm here on location, is that Jesus was in uh, three days and three nights, but you see the Jewish day begins at sundown. So the day is, day one is, I guess, from Tuesday to Wednesday night, day two is Wednesday to Thursday, no, Wednesday to Thursday night, then uh, Thursday to Friday night, and Friday to Saturday night. So early on the first day of the week, which is their first day, everybody goes to work here on Sunday. But for the Christians, it's the, it's the Lord's Day. So you see, the three days and nights really begins with the evening. In Genesis, the evening and the morning were the first day. And to the Jew, it's the evening to the evening is the day. So it was, that's how you understand that the resurrection. So I could never figure out how the days added up. But then I realized with the Hebrew, you have to do it from evening to evening. Wednesday to Thursday, Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday, and then early. On the, on the Sunday morning. That's why the Christians celebrate Sunday. They could never find the body, was the point I was making. And that's very significant, because if you if you go to uh, all other world religions, you know, they celebrate, they commemorate. Nobody is, they, they know where the tomb is. They know where they go to find the tomb. And the reason they do that is because they can tell where they buried their founder. Christianity has a hard time. So we, nobody could find the body. Think about this. This is very serious. This is this is the most powerful revelation for a for a, for a logician. The greatest argument for the resurrection is the Jews would have loved to have found that body. 
so that they could disprove the resurrection. You know, here's your Messiah, take a whiff. This is his rotting corpse, but they couldn't find it. The Romans got in trouble because they were supposed to guard the tomb and uh, they were they were slain in the spirit. The Bible says they fell down as though dead, but we know from a Benny Hinn crusade what that looks like. You know, you fall down in the spirit, overtaken by the angelic manifestation with the stone rolling back. So the, the Romans couldn't explain it, and the Jewish men that followed Jesus were hiding. It was the women who showed up looking for the body to complete the burial with spices, and there was no body there. But the Bible makes an interesting point that Peter and John went in and believed when they saw the linen, the linen, um, uh, it was like strips of linen, it says. Well, because the body was wrapped with strips, with paste of uh, frankincense and various other spices to perfume the decaying corpse. And they had to do a rush job. They had 120 pounds of spices is what Josephus, uh, is what the Bible says Joseph of Arimathea had. 120 pounds of spices. And so they wrapped it with paste real quickly around the body, kind of mummified. They learned it from the Egyptians. And then they, uh, and they had to, and they couldn't complete it, so they just put a napkin around the head. So the girls were coming back to complete the burial when they couldn't find the body. Why is, does the Bible say that Peter believed and John believed when they saw the linen cloth? Well, it meant that Jesus, if someone had stole the body, they would have stolen with the linen wrapped on him. They would have just grabbed the body, mummy, mummy casing and all. But in Jesus' case, the linen strips was the cocoon and the butterfly had already flown. You get what I'm saying? The linen strips that wrapped the body, it's like Houdini. The, the, it was in the shape of a collapsed body, but there was no body inside. And if it was just one big sheet, you could slip out. But if it's uh, 300 strips, this is a miracle, my friends. This is the point. They saw the body cocoon collapse. The butterfly had gone out. The only opening was at the head where they had a napkin and it was folded separately. That's why the disciples said, this is an unusual resurrection. The body without clothing. It was a resurrection of the, of the body itself. The first thing Jesus said when he came out, I go to my God and your God to my father and your father. It's a powerful statement. My God, God bless you. My God and your God, my Father and your Father. Why? Because the great revelation Jesus had was that we're unified with God in a way that never happened. Even in his earthly ministry, it didn't happen. It happened in the resurrection. He joined us so closely with the Godhead that when he got a resurrection body, he was the new Adam. He was the new order of species. He is the firstborn of many brethren. All of us are going to have resurrection bodies just like him. He is the new order of a new species. Get this revelation. There never was a species. Even when he was ministering in his natural body, it wasn't there yet. He had to raise from the dead, and when he raised from the dead, he was the beginning of a new order of species. Resurrected man made in the image of God. God became a man. God became a man. Up until then, there was no God-man. And then man fused with the Godhead at the right hand of God. God could not exalt us any higher than in Christ. We became one with him. Whew, I'm getting myself, I'm preaching myself happy. Father, I pray for everyone listening to me right now that the revelation of the resurrection will become a new revelation to us, not just the body that left the tomb, but the resurrection revelation of who we are in Christ and who Christ is in us and how we are now one with him and therefore God is our father, just as God is his father and we have a unique relationship with Jesus as the firstborn among many brethren, the first of a new species. And I pray, Lord, that we will be filled with your Ruach HaKodesh your mighty Holy Spirit, and then we will see exploits wrought in the name of thy holy child. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Live from Jerusalem. Bombs going off, death, terrorist attacks. You wouldn't know it because the power of the resurrection is right here and it's more powerful than the fear. In Jesus' name. Go remember, join me and my wife, small intimate group, for our dream trip to talk about the dream God gave you. I'm going to help you interpret the dream. I'll put all my Jewish understanding together. I'm going to help you understand the dream God gave you uh, and, and the perspective that heaven wants you to have on your present circumstances. Right now, God wanted you to be here. I love you very much. Go to LanceWallNow.com forward slash dream trip and join Annabelle and me. God bless.